Hi all. So let's see how the app works. So I'm on this page where I can select the source and destination. So here I'm going to select Hyderabad in from and to I'll select Chennai and I'll select the travel date as 19th April and I'll click on get trips. And you can see these are all the available trips. This is one one bus available traveling from Hyderabad to Chennai and this is the departure time, arrival time and the price. Price is 600 rupees. And I'm going to click on book button and here this is the vehicle layout, seat layout. We can also build seat layout dynamically. I'm going to cover it as well. So now I'm going to select these two seats, 6D and 6E. And I'll just select, click on submit. And here I need to enter the passenger details. So I'll enter some passenger details here for 60 seat number. And this is the second passenger details. Yeah, and I'll give some test address, dummy address and some dummy phone number. And you can see the price, the total price is auto populated because one seat costs 600. So we we are trying to book two tickets, two seats here. So it 600 into two is 1200. Now I'm going to click on save and you can see this message. Thank you. Your booking is confirmed. So let's see how we can configure it. So now I'm going, I'm going back to Salesforce here and this is the lightning app which we created craft wheels and these are all the tabs available for this so let's start with book bus tab so this is similar to this thing which we saw here where we can select the from to and travel date and we can select the seats and enter passenger details and we can also see the booking confirmation screen at the end so let's start with the configuration so the next tab which we saw here is vehicle layouts so we're gonna create a new layout here i'll simply click on this new button I'll give this layout as bus layout 3 or something. I'll click on save. Yeah, now here we can build our layout dynamically. So the first thing is we need to add a row. And here we need to add a seat number. Here you can see I'm adding a seat number. And if you want, you can add an empty space as well. You'll see this and error message please enter seat number so I'm gonna enter it yeah and one more thing is if I entered a duplicate seat number for example in this row D is already there if I enter the same seat number it will throw me the is error duplicate seat number D for row number one now I'm gonna add a new row and I'll add similar seats here as well So I created six rows here and these are all the seat numbers. So this is my final layout. I'll just click on submit. So once I click on submit, my layout is updated here. So this is my layout and we are store storing this layout in a JSON format actually. So I'm going to show you that as well. So we have a field called as layout JSON. Here we are storing the layout in a JSON format. Now our layout is created and we have the next step is we have to create a vehicle and I'm going to click on new and name it as bus three, something like this. I'll select the layout, which we created layout three and vehicle type. We have only one value in future. I'll add some other values as well. If you want, if you can add your details model, you can add it maker Tata motors. This is a picklist values. If you want, you can add your picklist values as well. And we have this variant as well and I'll click on save. Now our vehicle is created. The next step is we have routes. So we need to create route. So now this is my vehicle and my vehicle travels from Hyderabad to Pune and it will departure at just the time it will departure at 10:30 p.m. and this is the main important field trip duration how much time it will take to reach the destination so it should be in this format hh colon mm so i'll say to reach pune from hyderabad to pune it will take 12 hours 10 minutes so this is very important field 
I'll tell you how how important and why we are using this now I'll say it will run on Monday Tuesday Wednesday yeah it will run on except Friday it will run on all days and if you want you can give this field distance travel kilometer how much distance this route covers and this is pricing so uh, this is something to make it simple we created one custom field called as price so per seat what is the price so for example I'll say 900 per seat it costs 900 rupees so if, I, if a customer is booking three seats that means 3 into 9 3 into 900 that is uh, uh, 2700 now I'm gonna click on save I'll just mark this as active so my route is created and the next step is to create the trips so the trips are something which are displayed here so for example here I selected the from Hyderabad to Chennai and I selected the date as 19th and I'll click on get trips you can see these are all the trips available so now it's time to create a trip we can create trip manually using this button which will launch a screen flow here we'll select the trip date on which on which date you want to create a trip so maybe I'll select the uh, 26th April I just want to create a trip so that this trip should be available here so I'll clear next I'll click on next and you can see trip only runs on Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Saturday please select a valid trip date this is because we didn't select it Friday here so that is the reason this trip will not run on Friday so now I'll again click click on create trip now I'll select a valid date maybe I'll I, w I just want to create a trip on 25th Thursday and I'll click on next and you can see now my trip record got created this is the trip record got created and there are two things here one is departure and arrival when this departure when this trip starts so it starts at 10 30 p.m. on 25th April that means that the date which we selected while creating the trip is 25th and this 10 30 p.m. came from the departure time of the route so on this day it will departure at this time and it will take 12 hours 10 minutes to reach my destination and you can see the arrival time is departure time plus 12 hours 10 minutes so this you can see the arrival time got populated with 10 40 a.m. that means if you see the difference it is exactly 12 hours 10 minutes now my trip is created and if I open this trip now this trip will be available to show here this is my UI from Salesforce this is the layout and if you want to add any other additional rows you can do it in the trip level as well So now these are all the details. Now I just also we have this batch which will create the trip records on a daily basis. So this batch will be scheduled every day. It will create the trip records by fetching the route records and it will create the trip records. So instead of creating the trip records manually using that button create trip which will launch a flow. You can also schedule this batch class which will run every day and it will create the trip records automatically go go back to this page and I'll just do a refresh now I'll try to find this trip record so I'll select Hyderabad to Pune on the date of this trip starts on 25th so I'll select 25th as a date which is Thursday and I'll click on get trips now you can see I can see this trip now and the departure time is populated arrival time is populated and the price is also populated I'll click on book and you can see this is the layout I think this row which we added now but we didn't submit it I'll just delete it so this is the layout so I'll select two seats and click on submit I'll select some passenger details select some test address enter some test address and phone number and you can see I selected I'm trying to book two seats right so the price is 900 rupees so it doubled it 900 into 2 is 1800 and I click on save and 
now right now we didn't integrate it with any payment gateway uh, if you want you can integrate with your any payment gateway as well but now i'm just simply showing this message thank you your booking is confirmed so once the booking is confirmed if i open back this if i open back this trip record i'll just do a refresh tab you can see these two book these two tickets are already booked now and if i go back to this page and again i'll do a refresh here and i'll select the same trip i'll select the date as 25th and you can see these two tickets are booked and i'm unable to select these two tickets yeah so now if i go to this trip record again in the related list this is the reservation record which got created now if you see this reservation record it stores the address phone total amount what are all the seat numbers these are the two seat numbers which we selected in the ui and these are all the passengers list age gender and the seat number and this is how the app works and how we can configure this app i'm gonna uh, paste the github link in the channel description you can go through that as well and i'm gonna work on some future items as well like i just want to so now the pricing logic is much simpler you can see i just created one field on the route level and also you can see this is the price which i given 900 rupees so i just want to implement something like a pricing matrix where uh, we can uh, based on the kilometers travel we can charge the price for example it's if it's 0 to 100 kilometers 20 dollars should be charged and if it is from 101 to 200 it should charge 40 dollars so i'm going to come up with some pricing matrix thing which i'm going to cover in the future enhancements and right now if you see my route is something which drive so this is one route which we created hyderabad to pune but this this route can also have some intermediate stops so uh, like we can see like there 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 are some uh, intermediate stops so that part is also not covered so i'm going to cover that as an enhancement as well and i'll update the code as well in the git branch level and thank you for watching